y'all, you know, I'm at a loss for words. I'm not, y'all, Nashville hot deep fried Cornish hen. Okay, my YouTube family, I told y'all y'all was going to get a double feature today. So this is my second Cornish hen. Like I told y'all before, if y'all just tuning in because I'm feeling real greedy tonight, I don't know what to do. I had to taste for a nice roasted Cornish hen, and I also had to taste for a nice deep fried Cornish hen. Now, this is not just going to be your average deep fried Cornish hen, y'all. We taking it up another level because guess what? We are going to make this into a Nashville hot, okay? Nashville hot deep fried Cornish hen. Holla at me. Let's go. So, we got our hen. Nice and washed. Nice little bowl here. We need one egg and a little bit of buttermilk. Okay, so I am going to season this bad boy. I don't think it matters. Um, I really don't think it, uh, you know what? I don't think it, let me see y'all. This is what we gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. Let's take out our hen, right? Set that right there, right? Then we go take our egg, one egg, because we got one little baby hen. We got some buttermilk. Splish splash, I was taking a back. Splish splash, that's it. Put your buttermilk back in the fridge. Come over here, whiskey whisker. Whiskey whisker. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Whisk, whisk. Right? I got my cooking oil heating up behind me. Bow, 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 bow. Now, you can do two things. Season your hen. <coughs> excuse me. Season your hen. Dip it. Flour it. Season your egg batter. Season. There's so many ways you could do it. So this is how we gonna do it, you guys, to assure that flavor is gonna be in every bite. We gonna put some lemon pepper. Let me see if I can get both of these in the picture. Okay, we gonna get some right there. Okay, we gonna get some lemon pepper in our egg mixture. We gonna get some lemon pepper on our hen. We are also going to, everything we put in that, we're gonna put in our flour. I have just regular flour in this Ziploc bag, right? So we seasoning everything, cause we want flavor in every bite. Y'all know the drill, flavor on top of flavor. So, we going with some Lowry seasoning salt. Okay. Glory seasoning salt and in the bag. Glory seasoning salt. All right. We go on with some garlic powder in our egg mixture. Garlic powder on our hen. Garlic powder in our seeds in our flour. Right. Let's flip this. This that's all we gonna use, y'all. Is lemon pepper, Lori seasoning salt, and garlic powder. So let's season the other side of our hen. You thought we wasn't when we was, of course, because we eat both sides, so why wouldn't we season both sides, right? Okay, season that up. Hit it with a little bit of that. And you guys, I do have the my all-purpose seasoning. It is available. If you want to know, if you want to know how to order yours, comment down below that you're interested and I will guide you. Okay? Um, I'm not using my all-purpose seasoning because somebody might want to cook this now. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have my seasoning. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm using the seasonings that I know everyone has in their uh, fridge. So, or excuse me, their cabinet. So, let's get that out the way. So, now we have our nice seasoned 
uh, hen, we have our egg and milk mixture. Let me start them seasonings around in there, right? And we also have our seasoned flour, right? Okay. Let's take our hen, dippity doo da, dippity day. Dippity doo da, dippity day. Dippity do, dippity dee. That's it. That's all we doing. That's all we doing. We dipping. We dipping. That's it. I don't know why this middle piece tripping. That middle piece just don't want it. There you go. Okay. Let me wipe my hands off with some off real quick. All right. Get rid of this plate. Clean up as you go. Let's get our flour bag. Get that flour shaken up in there. Okay. Add as much seasoning as you like or use whatever seasoning you may like. You know, you may not like this combination. So, you know, just do you and, and season it to your taste. So now I'm taking my whole bird. And you guys, I, I cut mine in half. I um, basically spatchcocked my uh, Cornish hen because it's gonna fry better. And it's gonna be just more flavorful. So look, I'm just shaking it up now. We shaking it up, shaking it up, shaking it up, shaking it up, shaking it up. We are not going to re-dip it in the egg. I feel that you don't need to do that. You can if you want to. You could double dip if you want to. You don't have to. So now, make sure everything is coated in here. Yep, looking good. So now, you guys, let me show you guys. That's what our Cornish hen is looking like. And you could tell it's just gonna come out so crusty, so crispy. So you guys, I'm about to go over here. Let me see if my grease is nice and hot. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna dump this in here. I'm gonna show y'all. Let me wipe my hands off. I'm going to take y'all over here to the stove. Okay. And here is the frying up. Nice and good. So we're going to let this bad boy fry until it's nice and golden brown and pretty and delicious looking. And I'm going to come back and show you guys the Nashville hot, um, the Nashville hot sauce, you guys, is going to be so easy. Um, I think it's made by Tones or McCormick, and it's just like a few steps you have to do, and then you just brush it on your chicken. It's going to be bomb, y'all. So just stay tuned, y'all. Okay, family, this is the, I just flipped them. So, I mean, he looking good. Let me see. Okay. He looking good. He looking. He looking good. He looking good. Nice and golden brown. Mm, 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 mm. I turned the fire down a little bit, guys. I turned it down to like medium because I felt like it was cooking a little, little too fast. I had it like kind of on high, so I turned it down a bit. But this is what um, this is what he looking like so far. I mean, homie is chilling in that bath. He's chilling in that deep fried bath. So y'all, I can't wait to show y'all the finished results. Stay tuned. All right, my YouTube fam. So here is our beautiful um, deep fried Cornish hen. Let me flip it over for you guys. Beautifully fried. Beautifully seasoned. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I just wanted to show you guys the Nashville hot um, seasoning that I am using. It is made by Tones. It is delicious. Not authentic, but tastes pretty, pretty good. So this is our national. Now you can make this from scratch. Do you? You can make this from scratch. Easy peasy directions. It just says, you know, um, fry your chicken or whatever as normal and reserve a half. Um, reserve basically the grease that you fried your chicken in or whatever in you want to add that to this mix basically 
and you could dunk it, base it, or drizzle it on your chicken. So I am going to be brushing it. As you can see, my brush sitting right there in the cut. But I mean, if you wanna make it yourself, you know the ingredients is pretty simple. There you go. You know, you can make it yourself. But this is what I'll be using today. So this is what it looks like once you mix in your hot oil. Use it however much as you like, as you like. Doing this with one hand, y'all. But this is what it looks like. And I guess it's up to you if you want it on the thinner or thicker side. But um, I'm going to tell you one thing, y'all. I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to tell you one thing. This is not for the faint of heart. First of all, this is deep fried. Second of all, we about to base it with some spicy hot chicken, Nashville hot chicken flavoring. First of all, this is greasy. This is greasy. So listen, if you want to diet, let that go. You have to go the other route, the healthier route. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm just going to base this up and then let it set and shoot i'll be back to show y'all the finished product our other cornish hen is looking good it's in the oven balling out of control it's getting nice and brown it's getting nice and crispy so i will definitely show you guys a finished result side by side you guys stay tuned all right my youtube fam listen 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 i cannot make this stuff up listen you got your slice of bread to sop up all them juices, all that greasy delightfulness. Y'all, you know, I'm at a loss for words. I'm not, y'all, Nashville hot deep fried Cornish hen. When I tell you I already snuck a piece, of course I did, cause I'm greedy, but listen, when I tell you, bomb, it doesn't always have to be Nashville chicken. It doesn't always have to be Nashville pork chop. It doesn't always have to be inside the box. Step outside the box and you will be delighted. Listen, if you're looking for something different to do for Christmas or New Year's, uh, try it. Please try as always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys try this out. Let me give it a little 360. A little slow-mo action. A little 360. Y'all, bomb. Season to perfection. Crispy. Nashville hot deep fried Cornish ham. Get your life. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.